Thank you. Thank you all. And thank you, Betsy, for that incredible introduction. We are all grateful to you for your role in the success of the Progeria Research Foundation. Betsy was the director of the National Heart, Lung, and Blood Institute when we discovered the gene for progeria, and she immediately got involved in the quest for treatments and cure. Her commitment to the advancement of this research has never stopped. Betsy, your support means a great deal to me, to all of us at the Progeria Research Foundation, and to the most important people here involved, the children that we are all committed to saving. We are extremely honored to accept the Paul G. Rogers Distinguished Organization Advocacy Award. We're so proud to be recognized by Research America in this way. Thank you so much. As Betsy told you, we founded the Progeria Research Foundation when our son Sam was diagnosed with progeria just before he turned two in 1998. In the first five years, we discovered the gene responsible for progeria. Over the next 10 years, we went from gene discovery to a massive search for treatments by basic researchers to testing treatment in a first ever clinical trial for children with progeria at Boston Children's Hospital. It took the efforts of countless people but as you saw a few moments ago in the, that video clip, we had a pretty passionate motivator. Sam and all of the beautiful, inspiring, intensely courageous children, they got us here and they will take us all the way. There are only about 250 children with progeria worldwide. But Sam inspired us and hundreds of others, many of you who are in the room here tonight, to get to the bottom of this disease and to do something about it. While the Progeria Research Foundation is the recipient of this award tonight, we share it with all of you who have helped us so much. And we thank you for showing us what is possible when industry, government, scientists, physicians, and patient advocacy groups work together. Each of us brings different strengths, and together we make progress where individually we never could. Chairman John Porter, you had a role in our success. We testified before your House subcommittee on the Children's Health Act of 2000, which led the led to greater funding for pediatrics research at the NIH. Clearly, this leg legislation set the stage for the research that led to the discovery of so many things for the field of progeria. John Sang and the Spectrum team, you have helped us tell the story of progeria for more than a decade, guiding our message with sensitivity and compassion. Your efforts, efforts with Global Health PR have helped us to identify children with progeria worldwide. The National Institutes of Health has been an invaluable partner in our work. Sam's very good friend, Francis Collins, who when he was four, I think, he met, he used to call him France. But when he got older, he just called him Francis. Francis Collins led the discovery of the progeria gene mutation in 2003, and he has continued vigorously his research on progeria, noting that this ultimately contributes to our understanding of cardiovascular disease and the aging process. Each field informs the other to the benefit of all. And our generous industry partners in the quest for a progeria cure, including Merck, 
tonight's corporate host. As we researched in the beginning, just after the gene finding possible treatments, we determined that one of Merck's oncology drug candidates showed promise for progeria as well as for cancer. Merck has been an incredible partner. Merck made the drug Lonafarnib, a Farnesyl transferase inhibitor, available for the first ever progeria clinical drug trials. And this showed some important partial improvements in the children's conditions. For the very first time, our, we, we, we saw something happening here. Our first treatment has arrived. We are excited about the progress that we've made at the Progeria Research Foundation. And I think Sam would have been thrilled to be with to join with us here tonight to thank you all to accept this honor as well. Sam and the other children with progeria continue to inspire us. I mean, what else could they do? They are amazing. And Sam's legacy is our drive to find additional treatments and a cure. We know we have a long way to go, but we think we've set the stage. And together with our partners, we have created a culture of success. To be successful, the Progeria Research Foundation and organizations like ours will always need your partnership. Your talents are absolutely invaluable to us. Only together can we save these children. We are thrilled to have reached the milestones that we've talked about thus far tonight and also, of course, to receive your recognition. It means a lot to us. We are ready to take the next steps toward additional treatments and cure. And we'd love it if you would join us. Thank you all very, very much.